Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your MySQL database with MATLAB. So first thing, I'll show you this database I have in MySQL. So this database name is MyPHP and we have table game data inside which you can see I have this ID column, username and score. So basically this is the typical database for any game where it stores username and its respective score for that day. So I'm going to fetch this data in MATLAB. So open your MATLAB and you have this apps tab in your MATLAB main window. So you have home, plots and apps. So as you can see, I have this drop down button here. I'm going to drop down and scroll to the bottom and here you can see database explorer click on that and it will open one more tab with name database explorer here you get one dialog box that allows you to connect to a data source and the type of data source you have here is Excel MS access Visio MySQL MySQL server DB and this SQL Server DB means SQL Server from Microsoft. So choose MySQL for this video. Then type the username, let's say root and then password. In your case, this is going to be completely different. So use those credentials accordingly. Now click on connect. And you still see nothing on screen. That's because you have database browser on left hand side here you get to choose list of connected database from your mysql server so we have this myphp just like the way we have here and now i'm going to select all and when i push on that checkbox you will find that I get this table view inside data preview panel and you get the same data that you can see in your MySQL administration okay now here you can do plenty of things such as you can make queries such as where and order by on this table specific to your columns and then data preview will change accordingly the more longer data you have more things to sort out you can also import queries such as generate SQL that will show you the script required for this data preview similarly you can also generate script in MATLAB on how you access this data okay as you can see it takes your credentials then it checks for your respective columns and then fetches it shows it and then closes the connection so you don't have to do any of these just use database explorer and manipulate your data the way you want also, you can work on multiple database at the same time, then process them and export. You get option for connecting new database through this new option. You can choose ODBC if you are on Windows, JDBC if you are on Linux, Windows and Mac. Also, you can connect to system specific connections using this connect option. And recent connection will show how many some of such databases you accessed on your desktop so this was a short video on how to use database explorer in MATLAB 